Question 1e, again just another uh, short method I call it. So when you just have the x squared here, an x term and then a number, you do what I call the short method and you can look at the factoring summary sheet to look at all this. But list the pairs of factors of 8. 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. Now find two numbers that multiply to positive 8 and add to negative 6. So the two numbers need to multiply to give positive 8 and then when we add them they should give negative 6. So what two numbers are going to do that? Well, if you look at your 2 and 4, don't they add to 6, right? But we want two numbers to add to negative 6, so what's going to work? How about negative 2 plus negative 4? Is that going to add to negative 6, right? And what happens when I multiply them? Negative 2 times negative 4, what do I get? Negative 2 times negative 4? Positive 8, right? So this guy becomes x minus 2 times x minus 4, right? And that's the answer. But I'll also check that. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 minus 4x. Negative 2 times x minus 2x. Negative 2 times negative 4 plus 8. Add like terms, I get x squared minus 6x plus 8. And that's correct, right?